Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video series, let us take a look at Spring Integration Components. Now what is Spring Integration? And what is the use case for Spring Integration? Well, Spring has extended the enterprise integration patterns into Spring Programming Model. There are more than 60 patterns available in the enterprise integration patterns. Spring Integration is a lightweight messaging framework within Spring-based applications and it also supports integration with external systems. We all know that Spring makes us to write a lot of interfaces for abstraction and makes us to use dependency injection to provide Java objects with dependencies. Spring Integration takes this concept to one step further. These Java objects are wired together using messaging structure and individual components live without any knowledge on other components in the architecture, which gives you a high level of abstraction and you can modularize your components very easily. Spring integration can be implemented by three ways. You can either use an XML based spring integration configuration, you can use annotations, and also you can use a Java DSL, a much newer version of spring integration using Java 8. It removes a lot of boilerplate code from your Java classes. There is a huge range of endpoints and components available for us to make use of. Let us take a look at few of them for a kickstart into the world of Spring integration.